Okay, sir. Now we're going to do pie chart. This is your question. Question number one. Okay. Okay. Question number one says, a pet shop sells a range of fish. They have even provided, this is pie chart, okay? They have even provided the pie chart and definition, everything I gave you in my PPT, okay? Please go through. This is pie chart and there are three types of gold fish, okay? Common goldfish, pantail goldfish, or and the goldfish, okay? So this they are selling, and this pie chart is giving you information about how much goldfish has been sold, how much pantail, and how much or and the sold in that week, okay? So now here it says like, uh, what is the most common type of goldfish sold? Okay. Now here, let's see. Just by looking the pie chart, instantly you can say that, can you see the uh, diagram? Means this whole part is common goldfish. And this whole part is pantal goldfish. And this small part is oranda goldfish. Okay? So just by looking, you can you know that the highest salt in that week is common goldfish. Okay, and the list is earned up, right? By the shape, by the parts. This whole circle is being divided into part. And by the part you will know it is very small. That means this oranda goldfish is so less in that week. Second, and the highest is common, okay? So, how to do that is like here, let us all, let us convert this into percentage. Okay, percentage you know, right? I give the definition also. Okay, let us just assume now. Okay, for example, like a solution. Let percentage means out of 100. We're dealing only with 100. Okay, so this pie chart we have to do now. Convert into percentage, okay? It's very less, right? Or on the gold fish is very less. So we can just take 10%, 10% sold, okay? Or on the gold fish sold. Ten person. You agree? This is we're just assuming, okay? You can take five percent also, no doubt. You can take fifteen percent also. It's up to you, okay? I took ten percent. Okay? Now, let me go to Pantal Golfing. Salt, B, what do you want to take? It's up to you. Since you took 10. But remember one, one thing, children. When you add all these three parts, you have to get 100. Because we're dealing with the percentage. Okay? So, let's take 30. It must be greater than this. Because as you look at the diagram, by chart, it shows that Pantel goldfish salt was more than or enough, right? I want to take 30. What about you? You can try. You can take any number while practicing, no? You can just take a, this different number, this different number. Okay? At the end, you can, we all will conclude in the same way. No doubt. No. Okay, now last common goldfish. Whoa! Common was the highest golf is sold in that week. Common golf fees sold B. Here I cannot take as my wish. Why? 30 plus 10, 40. How many remain to reach 100? 40 is already gone. 30 plus 10, 
40 gone. So reach 100 now. 60 left, right? I have to take 60 here. Now you just see. 60 plus 30, 90. 90 plus 10, 100. Why? Because we are building percentage. Percentage means out of 100. Okay? What of us like teacher versus student? If I got in one competition, we played competition, I got 10 percent. That means how much you got? Obviously, 90 percent you go, right? Because 90 plus 10, 100. You agree? Suppose like I got 50 percent. You also got 50 percent. Sure. 50 plus 50, 100. Okay. If I get in one bag, if uh, in your bag if there are so many mangoes, okay. If like a one percent of mango are good, one percent of mangoes are good. Then how many percents of mangoes are bad? Obviously, ninety-nine percent are bad because one percent is good. That means ninety-nine percent are bad. You agree? So, it is not necessary that you need to take 10, 30, 60. But according to the, this graph, pie chart, I mean, this must be the lowest. Or another must be lowest. Just have a look. Only this part so Bigger. This part so And this is the biggest. That's why I took the biggest. Like 60. Okay? But you try by taking like 20, and this you take 25, whatever, and this you change again. But remember, when you add this, you must get 100. Is that okay? Okay. This you just took, which is not given in the question. You just assume. That's why you wrote let. Let Oranda Golf is so be 10 person. Let Pantel Golf is so be 30 person. And let Common golf is solving 60 percent. Is it okay? Now your question asks you. Question number A says. Let's solve now. A. What is the most common type of goldfish? Yeah, yeah, it's here. What is the most common type of goldfish? Goldfish. Common type of goldfish means which fish? Like. Many people like what type of fish? They're common. That's why everybody likes. That is common, right? I think many people like this common goldfish. That's why so many common goldfish has sold on that week. I think very less person like Oranda goldfish. That's why very few person came. Ten person only came to buy it. But common goldfish. 30 per, or 60 percent came and bought, correct? So, question number seven: Which is the common, most common type of goldfish? Which one? Obviously, common goldfish. That's why many people came and find it. So, common gold fish is your answer. You agree? He answered that. B. If the total of 50 goldfish were sold in that week. Oh, now they have given how many gold fees has been sold in that week. In that week, 50 gold fees has been sold. In this 50, Oranda is there, Kandar is there, Common is all are here. This total gold fees sold, 50. Don't say, don't think that uh, only common gold fees. No. Oranda also here. Fantal also here, common also here. Together, only 50 goldfish so That is total goldfish. Okay? So how to work out with question number B? Very simple. But remember, we took 10%. This we took 10%. This we took 30%. And this we took 60%. Okay. Now let's do it. Okay. Your question says, I'm doing B, okay? Here. Total number of, if the total of 50 goldfish were sold, total number of 
gold, fees, sold is equal to 50. I understand you, right? 50 gold fees has been sold. Now, estimate, estimate means not a grad, approximately, okay, clearly. The number of each type of gold fees sold Common gold fees, fatal gold, gold fees, or an gold fees. One by one you have to find. Now we just know by only person, 60 gold, 60 percent common gold fees sold. 60 percent is what? Do you think it's 60 fish? Never. It's just a person. Okay? Suppose in cycle test, you got 20 out of 20. Full mark is 20. Out of 20, you got 20. Now, what is your percentage? Your percentage is 100%. 100%. That means you, are, you, you didn't got 100, it means. 100% means you got 20. Here, suppose if you get 10. Out of 20, if you get 10, that means now you, are, you got 50%. You got 50%. 50% does not mean that you got 50. You got 10 out of 20. That means you got 50%. So, person means it's not a number, like number of something. Okay? So, 60%, it doesn't mean that 60 fees was sold. 30%, it does not mean that 30 fees was sold. No. We'll solve it. Okay? Yeah, this we can say, yes, 50 fish sold, because total number of gold fish sold equals to 50. Yes, here you can say, yes, 50 fish has been sold, because there is no person symbol. You see that? No person symbol. But here we have person symbol. Now let us see. 60 person mean, means how many fish? 30 person means how many fish? 10 person means how many fish? But remember, when you plus this, fish, this fish, and this fish, you have to get 50 fish, because only 50 fish was sold on that day. Do you agree? So, let's do Let's first solve this. Number, number, okay, now how many fish was sold, I'm going to find out, not in person. Number of common gold fish. Common gold fish. Number of common gold fish sold. How do you work? Simple. Now you are dealing with common gold fish. Go here. Common gold fish is 60%. Take it. 60% of what? One more time. 60% of what? 60% of 50. Total was 50 from 50. 60% 60 was common golf is. You agree? From, okay, just say, there are only 50 fish was sold. From that 50 fish, 60% is common golf is. 30% is Fatal golf is. And 10 person is Oranda golf is. It means like this. So, 60 persons of total. That is 50. We have to work this out. Okay? That's all. 60. Just write down. Person. Now, next step is you, you got person. Person means what? Person means out of 100. 60 I wrote, person means out of 100. Out of 100, I can do this, right? You got 19 out of 20. You got 19 out of 20. That means out of 20 will go down. Person means out of 100. Out of 100, out means, out of means, it will go down. Out of 100. Do you agree? Okay. 60%, I wrote it. Off in mathematics, math operation, off means what symbol we use? Multiply. 
I guess you learned in your earlier classes, right? 60, I wrote, persons out of 100, I wrote, of means multiply sign. Always, not only in this question, always, everywhere, of is multiply, okay? Of done, next what you got here, 50. You write down. Yeah, now make it simple by doing canceling. Can I cancel? Numerator. Numerator you know, right? Numerator means the number in fraction. Up number is called numerator. Down number is called denominator, right? When numerator and denominator uni in unit place, if there are or there is zero, you cancel and make simple. How? Oh, numerator one zero, denominator one zero, I can cancel. You see that? 50 become only 5. 100 become only 10 now. One more time. Numerator 10, denominator 10, I can cancel. Wow, so simple now. Denominator only 1, which we are not going to show, right? I think I told you in my previous video also, right? Every number has 1 in its denominator, but the standard way of writing, we never saw it. Okay? Let's not show this denominator 1 now. So what is left here? Only 6 into 5. Yeah, children, tell me 6 times 5 how much? Or 5 times 6, how much? 30. That means 30 common goldfish was sold in that week. 30. Just keep inside, okay? 30 fish was sold. Common goldfish. Right? The similar way, can you do with phantom goldfish? In the same way? Of course. Understood? Next. Number of, now uh, I'm going to take Fandel out here. Fandel, golf is salt. Let's change this now. You write, total number of golf is salt is 50. Number of Fandel, golf is salt, what? 30% similar way let's do it 30% of what of 50 never change how can total change total was 50 it will never change in every question this 50 will move you have to use that 50 okay now no more explanation I guess just now I've explained you 30% means 30 by 100 of means multiply 50 yes right now numerator 10 denominator 10 I can cancel Numerator 1, 0, denominator I can cancel. Denominator 1, no need to show it. What is left? Only 3 times only 5. Yeah, tell me, 3 times 5? 15. You see that? 15 Fantel Gold Fist was sold. This also let us write here. I agree. Now let's solve the last one, Oranda Gold Fist. Now Fantel is gone. Number of and the golf is sold, that is. Check out. Only 10%, only 10. Just see. Only 10 means it's the least sold fish in that way. That means it will be smaller than 15. Smaller than both. Yes, check. 10%. 10% of, of 50 total. 10% I can write 10 by 100. You all know that. Of means multiply, 50 is this. Numerator 10, denominator 10, numerator 10, denominator 10, I can cancel. Numerator, numerator uh, sorry, denominator 1, no need to show. After I, let, I got only 1, I will write just here and 5. 1 times 5 is, you see that? 5 or an ago, this was so. Oh, have a look now. 30 common gold fish sold. That is 60 percent. 30 percent means 50 fish. 10 percent means 5 fish. Okay. 60 percent means 30 fish sold. 30 percent means 15 fish sold. 10 percent means 5 fish sold. Let's check out. 5 plus 5, 10. 1 is carry over. 2 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. You see that. 
total fees was 50. Correct or not? After adding this, if you don't get 50, you have done mistake, my dear, somewhere. Please go and check. Check your calculation. Somewhere you have done mistake. Because when you add this number of fish, number of fish, number of fish, you have to get 50 because only 50 fish was sold. You got my idea? You try by yourself, okay? And question number two is very easy because here they have not given you person in person. You have just assume like you two, let this be 60 percent, let that be 30 percent, and let that be 10 percent, right? But in that question, it's already in the person, which 30 percent of your work they have done. So simple. So question number two is much more easier than this question number one. That's why I choose this question to explain. I'm sure you can do question number two. Please try by yourself. And please, please, please go through your PPT and video. I'm sure many of the students, they never watch video. My dear children, please watch video. It is your great opportunity because while, until and unless you understand, you can pause, you can rewind it again and again and watch and clear the doubt, right? So take this benefit and gain all the knowledge, okay? And while solving the assignment that I gave you, if there's any problem, feel free to call me. I will definitely help you, okay? Till then, stay home, stay safe, and take good care. Thank you.